Yeah, actually, we are working on a similar app at the moment, so we shouldn't like put this in, in the video yet. We've been watching the community forums and have seen all of the amazing designs that you've shared. Something that we see that keeps popping up are the Nothing Made apps. So today we're putting your renders in front of our software team for a closer look. Let's go. We bought the Nothing Gallery app by Alman Ali. They've gone through the extra effort of thinking through how the settings would work for this and even having a consistent header system for how to navigate through the pages. On the surface level, I think having it monochrome is actually, I think it's beneficial because like you have less elements which kind of like pulling for your attention. But like once you are in the app, actually it is more appropriate to have like a full colored view of the photos because actually there's also a way for you to kind of like find whatever you're looking for, like just from the thumbnails. I feel like any gallery app, the impression of it will depend so much the photographs and media that is actually sitting there. What I would say is always good is to test it with bad images and bad videos and just see what this app will look like. I'm actually kind of surprised to see Share as a navigation destination since it's usually an action you would take and it would be something you press when you're already previewing a photo. Like in terms of the concept and like what it's trying to achieve, I think it's actually, I think it's quite good actually. I would like, I would probably use something like this. Nothing Notes app by Ali Bafferdin. A lot of dots, that's for sure. <laughs> Not everything has to be this typeface that we're so recognized by. How do we still communicate the brand without necessarily using dots, both on folder covers and through typography? While you're editing a note, there should be a clear way to exit or some kind of consistent top bar. These small details that kind of give a concept the feeling of it being fleshed out. For example, the way notes, gaming list, and today are all slightly different it makes me wonder what navigation is like. How do you transition from one screen to the next. The mono fonts are usually not the best for like long paragraphs of text. For cases where let's say it's not just a list but if you have like really long notes it's better to consider something like outside of uh, mono fonts. But mono fonts are really good for things like labels. So like, like tags here for example I think it's perfect. It might be a little overwhelming. We like uh, red, um, it's a good accent, but sometimes it can also be seen as a warning. <laughs> I'm in danger! I think what's really nice about this concept is it is taking elements of this nothing design language from our home screen and carrying it into this first party app. So although maybe this row of edit icons might not be the right place in notes, it's really nice to see fans thinking about how else could our design language be reimagined for different use cases? At least in some parts of this app, uh, you can definitely see that thinking carry through. Quick pause. We're giving away 10 EAs to 10 lucky subscribers. To enter, just make sure you're subscribed and drop a comment below. If you missed the last giveaway, make sure you turn on the bell so you know when a new giveaway drops. Good luck. The media player, it's, it's pretty clean and simple, like a thin red line. What I really like is it's a full interactive photo side. So it means that this person has needed to go through and think about how each stream flows into the next and how you would have to navigate. Building these, it really helps flesh in and fill in all the gaps in your concept to make it look more real. I love it when like the app is kind of like so simple and so straightforward that it almost turns your smartphone into another device. I think this is why you see companies don't often prioritize things like media players anymore because it's kind of been subsumed by subscription apps. You would need to compete with the likes of Spotify, Tidal, and Apple Music. You need to sell the high seas like the old days. <laughs> so we have Nothing Clocks by 8055. I, I really like the world map. That's a really nice use of dot grid. You can see that they've paid attention to how we format our own apps because the top navigation is actually the same as what you would find in the weather app. Good job. And dot here is used a little bit more conservatively. This is actually kind of where you'd expect to see a dotted font, which is on an old school clock display. And these little tiles would work well as widgets. Be able to grab this little thing and just pull it out onto your call screen. We want our widgets and our app to feel like part of one ecosystem, right? We do have world clock widget. It should feel like it's a part of this app. All right, next up, we've got the Nothing Dialer from Ali. From the same as the Notes app, you can see a bit of his own design language carrying through. 
quick notes. This is something I'm kind of curious uh, about, like how exactly is it supposed to work? You actually might be talking like this. So in this case, you actually cannot actually take any notes. One thing that I'm instantly annoyed by is that the corner radius of the profile photo and the notes doesn't match with the corner radius of the phone. I like how minimal and simple the initial screen is. So after that, it kind of tends to become more crowded, but it's to the point. Next up, we've got the Nothing Calculator. This looks like a rescan of Google's calculator. Boom, roasted. I love the Google Calculator app, so <laughs> it's not a bad thing. So me personally, I would love, let's say I'm adding something up, it's my bill. So I wanna be able to tag that. Maybe when I go back into history and check what that was, I immediately know what it was. If there's one thing I would love to see from this is maybe we could just drop the equal sign from that second row and it would really clean up that top section. Calculators are very complicated. So I would love to get my hands on this and try and see how it handles brackets or grabbing something from the history. I love the simplicity of it. And I think like the aesthetics of nothing and like all the um, dotted fonts and numbers and letters is just such a good fit for an app like a calculator. Just like one of those apps that could be totally, totally real. All right, here we've got the Nothing Community app. Interesting, so on first glance, it looks a lot like Reddit. I like this featured section because we have quite a clear separation of those four elements because obviously you're going to dive into all of these different discussions and topics. So it's nice to at least land on a page that is a bit more calming. It does seem like it's a little bit cluttered. Maybe these icons can move to the right as an accent. So then the names and the text can keep that left alignment without being broken up. For example, you can see how well it works over here. And they've done a pretty good job keeping a very clean left edge. And this helps your eye sort of travel through the content easily. We have Nothing Game Center by Lado. I, I like playing chess, so I appreciate this. I just wish the checkboard wasn't actually red and black. It could have been just well, a light gray and a dark gray, but the pieces are very interesting. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Peace.